yeah, it, it's fueled us a lot. Um, you know, it's, you know, when we're out there doing, you know, the circuit with Coach Duvall and, you know, he's just getting after us and, you know, it's it's a 45 minute workout that's just nonstop and, you know, you're tired. You look over to your, bu to your buddy to your left and right and you go, look, we got to finish. This is something we need to work on. Finish a workout. I think that'll translate over to the season. Um, and, and I think we'll, put, we'll be put in uh, a lot of situations where it's going to be tested. You know, we're going to have close games and we got to show, you know, we, we have worked on that and we're able to finish football games. Yeah, it's, you know, whenever I transferred to Nebraska, the transfer portal was completely different than now how it is now. That's something that's changed. Um, you know, there wasn't like, I don't know, a couple thousand kids that were in it with me. It, it was low to, you know, a couple hundred. Um, so that's changed a lot. And, you know, obviously with NIL, that's changed, um, which I think is great for college football. Um, so th those are the two main ones that I've seen. And, um, yeah. Yeah, you know, um, the transfer portal, it's crazy. Um, you know, like I said, it's a little different than when I was in. Um, you know, there's plenty of, plenty of guys in there, you know, and um, we needed to fill some spots. You know, I think Coach Frost and all the other coaches did a fantastic job at finding guys, um, you know, that can play for a football team. And, you know, they fit in right perfectly. Um, you know, we've, we've developed relationships with them. Um, you know, we've, we've become brothers with one another. You know, we trust each other. Um, so that, that's something that, um, you know, we really focused on in the transfer portal. I think we've got we've got some playmakers. Yeah. Yeah, I saw that. I mean, is that like what's the feeling towards that? Knowing that a couple years ago, I mean, you had to sit out a season. Yeah, it's you know what I think sitting out was the best thing for me. Um, I think I matured a lot, um, you know, physically and mentally and uh, emotionally as well. You know, by, you know, learning the offense and stuff like that. I think that was great for me. Uh, on ways, you know, to uh, you know, be able to transfer as many times as you want, I think that's that that'd be crazy. Uh, I I don't think I'd be able to do it. You know, once was good enough for me. You know, I had to adapt um, after leaving one school to another. So I I couldn't imagine going you know, three, two or three times. Um, but, you know, everyone's different. Um, so, you know, there might be guys who are in different situations that, you know, are, are able to do that. And if, if so, then good for them. But um, I, I wouldn't be able to do it. So it sounds like, yeah, I mean, you took some benefit away from being able to stay out of here as compared to, you know, what would the opportunity that may have presented itself to play? Yeah, you know, um, I, I think it was great for me to, uh, you know, sit out of here. Um, you know, I, I think the coaches... Um, kind of decided on, um, you know, what, what would be best for me and if they wanted to try and, uh, you know, get a waiver and stuff like that. But, you know, I, I, I kind of, in the back of my head, I kind of knew I'd be, I'd be sitting out my first year. And I think there were a lot of great things that, um, you know, I benefited from, um, from staying out that first year and turned me into the player I am today. Yeah, um, you know, if, if you ask all you know, the receivers, all the running backs, all the quarterbacks, if they like their coach, they love them. So I, I really haven't need, needed to help them. Um, you know, they love their coaches, um, you know, and um, I think they believe in their coaches and they trust their coaches. So, um, you know, if anybody was struggling, you know, I'd go up to them and, you know, pull them to the side and talk to them and walk them through it. But, um, you know, every single one of those guys, you know, love their coaches, love to play for them and, and love to be around them. I am, yeah. There, there's a lot of good things that I think will come from Whipple's offense. You know, we installed some stuff in the spring, and then we got some new stuff coming in the fall camp. You know, that starts today, which is crazy. Um, but, you know, I'm super excited to get this thing going. Um, you know, we, we're probably around, poof. I, I, you know, personally, I don't really know. Um, there's, I'm sure I'd say one number, and then, you know, Whip will bring a bunch of other new plays and stuff to install. So I, I'm not 100% sure. Um, I can tell you one thing, you know, guys are mastering the offense, you know, with what we have in right now, and we're excited to put it out on the field. Mm 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, Casey is a workaholic. He loves being in the gym. Um, you know, he's, he's a good dude. Um, I, I'm sure he's, he's done that. I, I don't know if he has or not. I haven't talked to him about that. But, you know, he's, um, he's in watching film, doing all that stuff all the time. Um, you know, he's a gym rat. Loves being around the facility. So um, I, that wouldn't be surprised um, if he did that. So. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I, I got stronger, um, you know, technique-wise, worked on footwork, striking, um, and then emotionally, you know, I, I'd, I'd get pissed off all the time, honestly, and, you know, um, with the help of, of the, uh, you know, Nebraska staff, that kind of kind of helped as well, uh, maturing there, and, um, you know, just, just getting to know guys um, on a personal level and not just as football players, and then learning the offense as well, um, you know, really um, finding extra ways, you know, I'd, I was down on the scout team, I'd go practice, and then I'd go up to the, to the um, film room and watch, you know, the practice from uh, down the other end of the field when they're getting ready for games. So just just learning the offense so I could be prepared, and um, you know I think I really benefited from that year off. Yeah. 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 You know, it's it sounds like it's challenging, but you know the guys on this team here they love each other. They're always welcoming uh, you know new people with new recruits. A lot of freshmen coming in, and then. Obviously, with all our transfer portal players, um, so you know they all came in. We welcome them in, you know, right away. You know, get to know them, hang out with them outside the facility, get to know them on a personal level, um, and I think that's really benefited. And um, those guys have fit in perfectly. Yeah, um, you know, I've never been outside the U.S., so I'm super excited about that. Um, I heard there's some pretty nice golf courses down over there, so if I could see uh, see some of those, um, I, th I think it'd be pretty sweet. Yeah, yeah. I don't know how that's gonna work. Um, obviously, we're going down there to uh, to win the football game, but it'd be pretty sweet. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, we talked about it a little bit. Um, I think you know, Coach Frost and. The staff are going to do some things to, to kind, of, kind of try and get us used to it. Um, but I'm not really 100% sure yet. You know, it'll be different. And, you know, both teams are going to be tested. So I think the team that, you know, does does better at adjusting will win the football game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, you know, it's going to be challenging, but, you know, just like everything we do, we're going to embrace it. Um, you know, we're, we're super excited to get over there, and, um, you know, it, it'll be tough, but I think we'll be fine, and we'll find ways, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So that you know, the first game is so important, and um, you know, if if we're out there, you know, making plays, doing what we're supposed to do, starting one and zero. You know, I talked earlier about you know just everything we do be one and zero. You know, don't lose that rep, don't lose that um, practice, don't lose. Try not to lose that game. Um, you know, winning every single rep. You know, if I'm down there blocking Garrett, you know, who's a heck of a competitor and also a psychopath, but um, you know, if we're down there, you know, blocking him in practice, I'm gonna try and be one and zero against him. Um, so just having that mindset of trying to be one and zero in everything we're doing, and um, you know, if we do that throughout camp, I think we'll, we'll like the results of the first game. Um, but yeah, th that first game is so important to get us on the right track, and you know, keep keep us going, uh, keep keep us going upward. Ooh, um, you know, we've got we've got so many great players on our team. Um, I can't really think of one. I, you know, we picked up a lot of guys, you know, from the portal that could surprise some people, and then we've got guys that are still there that could, um, you know, surprise some people. So um, I'll, I'll let you guys figure that one out whenever we whenever we start playing. So. Yeah. Um, 
I think you have to adjust to the changes that are happening. Uh, mm -hmm. Whatever changes. Happen. Yeah, you know, I th I think it's it's awesome um, for the conference. Um, I I personally I won't be here for it, but it it'd be fun to watch. Um, you know, I we travel out to Rutgers um, from Lincoln, and you know that's a long flight. So traveling out to California would be would be a crazy long flight, but I think it'd also be so cool to play out there. Um, I've I've never been on the West Coast, and um, so I think it'd be cool to go and go and play out in uh, California. So I, I think you know guys would look forward to it. it it's a long trip, but um, you got to be able be able to adapt, and um, I think guys will enjoy playing against them. Uh, Wisconsin, um, Badgers. <laughs> no, uh, you know they're a great football team. So, um, yeah. Yeah. You know what? I, I'm just I'm so excited to get um, you know be fully cleared for fall camp um, and be able to get back out there. You know, with the guys and. Um, you know, summer conditioning is all fun and stuff, but you know, it's it's time to do our job, time to get out there and, and play football. And um, you know, summer's over for us, and I think guys need to realize that. And you know, it's time to work. Um, and we've got a lot to prove this year. And um, you know, I think I think guys are super excited to get out there tomorrow. Yeah, I talked to Chip when he was up in New uh, Yeah. So um, you know, we got we got to learn the offense. Um, you know, we need to master the offense. Um, and and find you know find ways to get the ball to our playmakers um, and you know whoever's at quarterback I think they're going to do a great job with that and um, you know as a tight end and you know with our receivers and running backs and everyone else you know we're going to be put in great positions to go out and make plays and um, we just got to do our job and go out there and do it. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, you know, Coach Whip's a great, great guy. Um, you know, he's funny. He's, he's a good coach. Um, you can tell he loves his players. Um, so, you know, it, it's been different. Um, there's a lot of similarities and differences with this offense and what we ran in the past couple of years. Um, but, you know, um, you know, like I said before, he's going to put us in positions to, to go out and uh, make plays. And um, I'm, I'm really looking forward to uh, getting this thing started tomorrow at practice. Yeah. No, I, you know, as the tight ends have been watching a lot of a lot of film from Pitt, um, so we we've seen a little bit of what they do, and yeah, I mean, they uh, they had a lot of success last year, and I think that does, you know, that puts a cherry on top with you know Coach Whip coming in, knowing that you know he knows what he's doing, and um, you know he's going to put us in great position to win football games.